Alrighty guys, welcome to the channel. This is today's project. Haven't worked on this style in a while. Just kidding. Um, so today we have a quite a list of stuff to do in this car. Um, one of the big things uh, for safety and reliability, we're going to be replacing the rear air springs. Uh, this car has 172,000 miles on it with uh, pretty much all original everything on it. Even the intake manifold. We're going to replace the air springs while we're in there. We have to replace the shocks. They're all blown out. Um, front shocks are going to get replaced also. Um, we've got spark plugs to do. Uh, window regulator on the front driver's side. Uh, we're going to try and get to brakes while I'm out here. They're a little shaky and need to be serviced. Um, but otherwise, this is a 99 Grand Marquis. But all stock. Nothing done to it. Nothing. Uh, no real repairs that any of us are aware of. Um, so this is probably the first time it's going to get a big wrenching on job here. Um, I've got my pile of stuff right there. Um, we got mostly everything I need to work on this. Uh, we're in a different state, so I hope I brought all the tools I need. We'll get stuff done. So what we're going to do first is we're going to raise the back of the car up and we'll block the wheels. The rear of the car will get jacked up. We'll put it on jack stands. And then we're gonna let the front suspension droop and then we're, hopefully we can tr uh, trick the air suspension computer into airing down the airbags. Um, that's, that'll be our first thing is getting the airbags out and putting in our new ones. Um, I'll link down below where I got all the parts for this car. The uh, air springs were 70 bucks for a pair and it's the same pair I put in my uh, Lincoln Town car uh, last year when I had it and uh, those held up pretty well. So. Um, I'm going to get this all set up and uh, we'll start working. Okay, here's what we're looking like. Got the wheels blocked. So we'll slowly let the axle come down. Okay, if we shut the door, the computer should tell the suspension air down. Yeah, you can barely hear it hissing. She's airing down. Okay, we'll let that do its thing and we'll come back. Hopefully those bags will be fully deflated. And then uh, these will be easy to replace. Here's our new ones. Yeah. And then we'll work on those rear shocks. We'll get those out with the springs out. There's lots of air still in there. They're not too bad. They're starting to split just a little bit, but that's why we're putting new ones in. That way it doesn't pop on them. Okay, so we've got to remove this guy here. We're gonna be replacing our air dryer. Well, there's my extension. <laughs> Perfect. The air box we'll take out up here, and then down below should be our air compressor and our connection. There's a, a vent solenoid that we need to get to. It's under this guy here. I think we're gonna have to remove this too. All right, you guys are gonna hold the hood up for me here. So what we're gonna do now, we took the deal out of here. There's two electrical connectors, one for the pump motor, which is this one, and there's this connector for the uh, level sensor. I got this connector here. This is for the air suspension. One way I'm getting this off of here. We'll do it that way. How about that? We've got an orange little collar here. We'll push down on that. Hold it. And this might even have to use this. There we go. Wow, that was really in there. What I'm actually going to do is jack the car up, the rear suspension all the way up. What's going to happen is the car is going to think, oh, we need to air up. So it'll open those valves up in the airbags. And then since this isn't connected anymore, um, whatever pressure's in those bags will bleed off. So you guys are going to sit here and you're going to listen 
Uh, we may need to put the key in the on position. We're also going to uh, plug this back in so the computer knows it's here. So what we did is I jacked the axle all the way up to the bump stops. So now, let's see what happens if we shut the door. Now put the key in the on position. That's what we're looking for. I'm gonna go until it stops bleeding in. So the car should look like this. You should have your axle all the way up. Um, do this part um, after you jack it up because if it drops all the way down to the ground, you're just gonna have a pain in the pain in the butt time to get it jacked up. So that's how you get the air out of the airbags. And in here, oh yeah, the airbags are collapsed now. So we got no air in the system now. If your airbags look like that, after you've done what I just done, you are in the uh, all clear. Just held in with that little retainer. Let's just go ahead and get the wheels off. This is not entirely necessary for this job, but it'll give me some more light under there. And we need to check on the brakes too. I think we're gonna do brakes all the way around. See that rusty spring back there? We need to get that off. And to do that, uh, you know, Ford put it in such a stupid spot. Go figure. Let's try it. Move it around here. You just grab the grab it with your hand there and now she comes so we should be able to get this out of here there's an electrical connector up here but first I want to get this spring clip out of here let's go get a flathead screwdriver this has got the original Firestone from Motocraft airbags there's okay this is that clip I'm talking about. You just pop it out with the flathead. The solenoid rotates counterclockwise. And you just wiggle it out from there. Oof. And now she comes. Now this solenoid here. goes that. I'm gonna push in the air hose. <clears throat> there we go. And push it on that collar and she comes out. There. That was easy, huh? Sort of. So that's what we're gonna do for the other side. I'm gonna spare you that one. Um, but while you're under here, it's a great time to check your other suspension components. You see, we're, you know, we're doing the shocks here while we're in here. Um, these are, you can tell, have been leaking, and they it bounces pretty good back here. Got the original Motocraft. You want to check your watts link and make sure that your bushings up here are nice and good. There's your height sensor back there. Look at the exhaust. Looks brand new. Wow. Anyways, that is all looking pretty good. It's in really good shape. Surprised for an Idaho rig. Oh. So here's where things get fun. Um, it's a 14 millimeter on that. And it just turns the shock. So what I'm gonna do for right now is uh, we're actually gonna cut this plastic right here. This is plastic. We're gonna cut that just enough to uh, get some vice grips on the uh, shock there. And then uh, we'll just use the uh, vice grips to hold that and then we'll get that out that way. Okay. 
That top part was a little bit of a fight. There we go. It's almost like it's been on there for 20, 20 some years. Oh. There she goes. <laughs> Not an easy trick. So when you put the new shock in, before you, so what you want to do is before you put the shock all the way up in there, get your top bushing in there by hand, get the washer on there, and then somehow I was able to take the nut and hold it in between my fingers like that, got it over it, and this shock has a metal sleeve in the butt or you know shield I just grabbed that and spun her down until we got about probably six or seven threads there when the bushings relatively collapse and I just go until she starts to get hand tight and we got a fresh nylon lock nut on there so she she ain't coming off we're gonna leave those bushings kind of in a softer uh, compression setting and this is literally a thing you can tune a shock by how tight or loose you put the bushings in we're gonna leave this a little soft Cause this, you know, this is the comfy car, you know? We want to leave her comfortable. Um, so now we got new hardware here. That's for the old shock. I went and picked up some new hardware. Uh, this stuff, these have like 5,000 miles on them. I came off my Lincoln Town Car. Um, they're from Suncor and I believe they are for air ride. Cause Suncor um, does a lot of air suspension stuff for these cars. I went and got new nuts for this, I believe. Shoot, I forgot what size this was. But I got one of these universal uh, shock mount studs here. I had to get it for these shocks. You can get these at like O'Reilly's or Napa or whatever. I will put that on there. In fact, you know what, what size are we? Uh, let's see. That looks like a 19 millimeter, sweet. So we'll ooga dooga that on and we'll put our new airbag in. I'll bring you back for that part. So I've developed just a standard when working with these cars. If you're doing air suspension on these, buy the new solenoids. Got some branch making new ones here. Um, the same, I've used the same uh, pair and brand, also from Suncor. Uh, same thing with the airbags from Suncor and eBay. I'll put links down below for their products. Um, yeah, I've always replaced these. Um, we can keep the old ones. They were still working fine. Um, you know, the airbags just toss them, but the old solenoids, we'll keep those as spares. You never know. These may actually be, you know, they might have a defect. You know, not every part, especially where it comes from. Uh, I don't feel that perfect. So this doesn't come with new springs, but the airbags did come with new spring clips to hold these in, so we'll utilize those. Um, Little thing of confusion here. You're wondering, what does this big O-ring do? Um, I just looked in the old airbag, and this big O-ring, all it does, this O-ring just sits in here like that. And then we'll spray some silicone spray on here. And then this guy will, you know, it's already got two O-ring, new O-rings on there. This will go in here kind of like that. Push it in all the way, and then click and lock. I need to take that off. We'll put that on last. So what I'm gonna do is I'll spray this afterwards. We're gonna go up into the car. We're gonna spray some silicone spray here so that when our line goes on, it doesn't uh, tear up any seals that might be in there. I think it's just a, I think it's got a Teflon seal or something in there. We'll spray that so it's lubricated when it goes back in. And then we'll spray this, put our electrical connector back in, lock this into the airbag once we get up there. All right, Tibbs. See if you guys can see what I'm doing. <sighs> New bag going in.
Okay. It looks like we're pushed in all the way. We'll put our <coughs> metal clip in here. Mm -hmm. Somehow, some way. Well, we're helping by watching. Uh, my sister, ladies and gentlemen. Well, we'll put we'll put her on camera here in a little bit. Oh no. <laughs> She's like no. Okay, where are we at here? Come on now. Okay, there she is. Ah, you're the worst. <laughs> Do a little freehand here. Uh, let's see. Where are we at? All right, now's the time to put the little spring thing on there and then lock that in the axle. We're done. Just got to do the other side. All right, Tibbs, we got new shocks up front. Um, I didn't really video this, so it's just kind of in a roll, but they're pretty easy to get out. It's two 13 millimeter screws to take the bottom out. Um, usually these top nuts here, you gotta heat up and whatnot. Um, I sprayed it with some lube, cracked it free with a wrench, and then uh, by grabbing the shield under here, I was able to rattle it off with that, and uh, now she came. So I got both sides done here. Um, yeah, this thing had 172,000 miles on original shocks. These are the original fronts. These were okay. They got some stuff to it. Uh, but the rears were totally shot. I went and put in a new fuel filter. Here's the new one I used. Uh, PF2000. There's the old one there. I'm about four or five, about five Stellas in. Airbags, all new. So far it's sat on the ground for 20 minutes and held air, so that's all good to go. A future project we're gonna do is, we're gonna replace this intake manifold. Um, it's starting to leak right here. This has got the original plastic one, which is surprising. So that'll be a job coming up.